Hello everybody, my name is Ryan and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, thank you so much for joining us today. Today, we are watching season two, episode four, that's right, episode four of Good Omens. So, be ready and excited for that. I'm ready and excited for that. The last episode was definitely my favorite episode so far. We had a zero fail go off to look a little bit more into the whole song situation and dig around a little bit to figure out if Gabriel slash Jim was in the pub when the first disc whatever got switched into the song, is it called Every Day? Um, got switched into that and we found out that he was there and we went on some more investigating and we got little flashbacks to Crowley and Aziraphale going grave robbing, which was a fun time. We got to see Crowley getting drunk, which was also a great time. And we got to see Crowley also be in charge of the bookshop and gym a little bit. So that was phenomenal. Loved it. Loved it a lot. But we ended with maybe a little bit of a threat to Aziraphale. And I don't say that lightly, but I am worried about it. Because Hell may be on to Crowley and Aziraphale regarding the fact that they are hiding Gabriel. Such Jim. But we'll see. And it seems that Jim keeps getting these flashes of like him going to Gabriel and like reciting stuff. So that's interesting and something to just keep an eye on, keep my mind, keep my mind on that. I'm scared though. I'm scared. I loved the scene also really quickly uh, with Aziraphale in the Bentley. <laughs> like, he changed it to yellow, he had the classical music on, he was eating candy, he was vibing. And I loved that. I loved everything about that. So... I am excited to get into this one, but the last episode will be kind of hard to to beat. Just because it was such a good time, so. As always, the full episode reaction for this episode and all of the other episodes will be up on my Patreon. The link for that is down below. If you'd like to check it out, you totally don't have to though. Do whatever floats your boat. And without any further ado, let's just jump right into season two, episode four of Good Omens. Let's go. I'm excited. I'm worried. I am worried. I'll say that. Oh, I wish I could stop and give you a lift. I'm so late. I'm sure someone will stop for you. <coughs> Sorry, people. I really do have to get. Hello? I'm so sorry. Can you be an angel and give me a lift? Only my, my car's broken down and, and my phone's dead. Oh, you better climb in then. Oh, oh God, guys. Oh. Are you joking? I knew you couldn't resist somebody in distress. Shacks. Uh oh, spaghetti. -o. I'm nervous. Crowley's got Gabriel, hasn't he? <laughs> It's the only thing that makes sense. Why Crowley should risk destruction for you? You don't seem his type at all. I can tell how Crowley's got him. Crowley doesn't have Gabriel. Where would he put him? You've already told me where he is. <laughs> how? How did I tell you where Gabriel is? You didn't. You have now. Yeah, I mean, I was gonna say, oh no, a zero fail. Oh god, guys, no, not a zero fail. <laughs> oh, my poor son. Ooh. London, 1941, darling. I love his outfit. I really do. It's very kind of you. Shut up. Well, I forgot all the books. Oh, they'll all be blown to. <laughs> Little demonic miracle of man. 
little while to hear something on the Hellvine. Some demon somewhere up to some good. Just let me know. Up to some good. That's so funny. Day. And that day may never come. I could call on you. Do a service for me. Oh, that day will definitely be coming. And it'll be coming probably sooner than you think ever possible. Oh, I hated that. That was a very nice thing you did for me. Shut up. Ah, <laughs> uh, the theater. Bravo! Sophocles, Shakespeare. It has something to do with that swine Crowley. What did you just say? It was Mr. Crowley's <laughs> meddling that caused this. Crowley? Tell me. Yay. Ew. I hated that as well. Tonight's magician has just been arrested as a deserter. Not a deserter. Um, I, I, I wonder if I might be able to help you out on behalf of my uh, good friend here. I am no stranger to the art of prestidigitation. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Mm. I can grant you a temporary license to go back up to Earth as zombies for 24 hours. You are able to find me hard proof that the demon Crowley and this Mr. Fell, who from your description appears to be an angel, are not just associating but actively working together, I will be authorized to grant you freedom from hell and damnation. Nice. Eternity. So if you'd rather take the initial 24. What's the sign say? This office has gone zero days without. Without what? I'm starving. I'll tell you a story. It is yikes. sure to please. Yikes, yikes, yikes. Right. This poor man. Cheers for um, getting me off the hook. Oh, there's no need to thank me. That's what friends for. You are aware that you're going to be performing on the West End stage tonight. The West End. The West End. <laughs> this is gonna go horribly wrong somehow, I think. Let me look. I'm an expert lip reader. And he goes. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> Come on, Mr. British man. Wow me with your miracles. <clears throat> Can I just say that uh, I do only allow myself one tiny weeny miracle just to warm the audience and myself. Now, <clears throat> I have here. Here. I have here. Banana. Banana. Fish. Fish. Gorilla. Gorilla. Shoeless. But that's uh, for professional conjurers only. You, my Nefertiti fooling fellow, are about to perform on the West End stage. He's got a point, you know. He does have a point. I don't know what does. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta get something big, but I don't think it's gonna go well. <laughs> well, please hand me the contents and I will gladly show you. <laughs> My heart dropped for a minute there. I need a showstopper. Uh, we call this one the Professor's Nightmare. Now, I've got a big piece of rope, a medium-sized piece, ah, with you in a few moments, sir. Mm. Now this is perfect for a talented amateur such as yourself. A talented amateur? <laughs> well, have you know I'm booked to appear in the West End. Uh, the Windmill Theatre at 8.30 p.m. tonight. Thank you very much. Like that. Oh no. This is even worse than I ever thought. Twelve people have died presenting this effect. Years ago, I sold one to a lovely Chinese fella, and he ended up six foot under. I mean, I have warned you. It'd take a miracle for you to be able to perform this safely tonight. Yes, well, you just sell us the trick and leave the miracles to us. You don't understand. <laughs> Look. Where are we? Yeah, this is not going to be good at all. We're going to need a 100% reliable marksman. Someone you can really trust. Otherwise, it's lethal. Oh, I've got the perfect man for the job. I think I have excuse Oh my god. As a demon, you, you must have 
fired off a lot of guns. Yeah. Uh, guys. But if anything goes wrong, can we agree that we break your one miracle limit? Neither of us wants the paperwork, do we? I'm terrified. I'm so scared. Take anything you want. It's my treat. Oh no, this poor man. Mm. Womp womp womp. That's terrible. That's absolutely awful. Let us welcome the death-defying prestidigitation of the amazing Mr. Oh, Fell. You're on. Get on with it. I'm so nervous. It's gonna be fine. Everything's gonna be totally fine. Right? Totally fine. Is he here to amaze and befuddle us all with his prestidigitation? What? And jiggery <laughs> pokery. Get on with oh, it! Oh, be nice to him right now. Oh my word. Before we mm -mm. begin, this is not gonna go well. We just need a little someone. Oh no, there's a miracle blocker. <gasps> Guys, I'm scared now. I was like, totally, he's gonna be fine. He's got these miracles. I didn't even take it to account that this man would show up with a miracle block. It didn't even cross my mind. And now I'm panicking. Take this rifle. No. Ah, the gentlemen of the press are intrigued already. I see. And loaded into the rifle. Okay. Excuse me, I'm scared. Load oh my god. The bullet into the gun. Oh my god. That's right. Oh my god. Fire the rifle at my head. And in that explosive moment, Why? Why do we I have to will do attempt that? to catch that bullet in my Guys, I'm so scared. I'm so scared. When you hear my signal, sir, shoot. Why? Ready? Mm-mm. I'm not. Here it comes, folks. Oh. Guys. Oh my god, not the shaky hand. Nice. It worked. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at Crowley the back. Do you really think it went well? Absolutely. Chalk up a wind to the side of the <laughs> Oh. Oh. I'm so sorry. This is so bad, but that was so cute. Oh, I remember going into battle. I don't remember being there with you. Sorry. Iconic. Iconic, iconic. Hold together! You said jump on my back, little monkey in the waistcoat. We're in breach of the infernal code. Consulting and collaborating with an angel, Fell the Marvelous, aka. Azirapa Lala. Uh. Azirapa Papa. Azifapal Allah. Aziraphale. Come on, come on. Uh. He did something. I don't know how because he said that there's a miracle block, but he had to have just done something, right? You guys heard that music. Do we want to please? And somehow still getting on while demons like me graft for hundreds and hundreds of millennia and never get a sniff of a Someone's production. mad. No, not this time. Well, you, you can't leave us like this. You need to make us into living humans. Oh, no. Uh... Clause 17, unrevocable eternal life on Earth, and zombies. But I'm afraid it looks like you'll be staying right here. Hey. What'd he do? Oh, hold on, that's not... Oh, yes. 
Incredible. The miracle blocker in the room. I saw you put it back in the envelope. Who needs a miracle when you've had private lessons from the great Prof Hoffman himself? Slay. Magic words. Banana fish gorilla shoelace with a dash of nut. You've got to be joking. I, uh, I knew you'd come through for me. You always do. You said trust me. And you did. Stop it. Right now. You could have walked away. If you were truly as evil as you like to paint yourself, you would have done. Nah. That's the trouble with you lot. You tend to see things in black and white. Sometimes, you just gotta blur the edges. Well, maybe there is something to be said for shades of grey. Dark grey. Shades of very light grey. Huh? I rather fancy. Let me in to see Lord Beelzebub, or I will rearrange your vital organs and hang them on the wall. Because he's in the bookshop. Gabriel's in the bookshop. You're certain of it? Yes. I take a legion of demons and we storm the bookshop, killing anyone and anything that stands in our way. We capture Gabriel. Mm, I don't like that, Clem. I don't like it. Destroying anything and everything this that stands in our way. This is not good. Mm-mm. No. Mm -mm, not good. I am not authorizing you to do that. No. I am commanding you to do it. I hate it. I hate it. Oh god. Lindsay, pop off. Lindsay, get out. Take a hike. Go away. Never come back. There you are! Oh, why something might have happened to you? Uh, no, nothing happened to me. Very uneventful journey indeed. No strange things at all. But I'm certainly hot on the trail of something. Yeah, you need to tell Crowley right now. You really do. By the way, the whole sudden rain and awning thing was a complete washout. Sorry? You know, project making Lena fall in love with Maggie. I failed. She'll go. Oh, I see. Cotillion Ball. Here we come. You're really hosting the meeting. Absolutely. And I can guarantee you, it will be a night to remember. Oh my god, I'm so excited for that. Oh my god. Okay. This was definitely a fun episode, for sure. I still like the last episode the best so far, but this was really fun. We barely got any, like, present day. But I really liked seeing the flashback to them however many years ago and just connecting where he's like you helped me and you trusted me and oh my god it was sending me it really was i loved it so much oh they're so beautiful the whole shacks showing up to talk to aziraphale no thank you i don't like it i don't like it at all and now what hell is gonna attack the bookshop. Aziraphale definitely has to tell Crowley about what happened, absolutely, because we need we need a plan. And we need more than just a plan to get Nina and Maggie to fall in love. We need a plan to stop Hell from destroying everything. We need a plan to figure out what is going on with Jim slash Gabriel. And we need a plan to figure out what we're gonna do about it in general, right? We need to. We need, we have so many questions and answers left to find, and only what two episodes left? That has me worried. That has me worried for however the season is gonna end. I hope we get a lot of answers, but I can't be too sure, and I'm terrified that I can't be too sure. But I also loved the whole magician aspect of the episode. I will say I was a little bit nervous because I have a thing about zombies. Trigger warning zombies. <laughs> I needed a trigger warning at the beginning of this episode for zombies. I have a thing about zombies. Zombies really freak me out. I did not watch The Walking Dead because of zombies, okay? I can't do zombies. Zombies freak me out. These weren't that bad though. I still wasn't loving it, but they weren't that bad. So, 
we can move past that. But that that's probably what really bumped this episode down for me, was the fact that we had zombies roaming around. I did not like that at all. But it's fine. It's fine. We're over it. We moved on. I'm so stressed about where we're going, though. Can we talk about that? I really am. I don't know how- where are we gonna hide Gabriel? Because we have to move him from the bookshop, right? I mean, I know they said that they can't technically go in, but obviously Shax has a plan. Otherwise, we wouldn't be continuing with this plan, right? Surely. We didn't see anything from Heaven this episode, which is interesting, but... Fine. Fine. Ugh, I'm so scared. I have so many questions. As always, the full episode reaction for this episode and all of the other episodes will be up on my Patreon. The link for that's down below. And I will see you guys back here with me for the next episode. Bye, guys.